Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. Now if you're new to this channel, I upload videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday all about Final Cut Pro tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, and camera gear review videos. So if those are the topics that you are interested in, highly encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'm also giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1 thousand subscribers so if you you so if you subscribe you might be able to win a Google Home Mini for free now in this video I want to show you guys how to use the green screen effect in Final Cut, Cut Pro which is honestly one of the coolest effects in the world and there's just so much you can do if you know how to use the green screen effect so this is the clip that I'm gonna go ahead and use right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use the green screen effect in Final Cut Pro. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do my subscribe animation. It's a lot more advanced than you think. So this is, I just screen recorded this off of YouTube. That's why I got this really cool uh, green screen subscribe animation. Just, you can just go ahead and look it up on YouTube. I am sure you'll find one or there's a whole bunch of different types of these animations. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I actually put this in my video and show you guys three different ways you can actually uh, do it because again, if you know how to use green screen effect, it is so much helpful and you can just do so many cool things with your video. So go ahead and drag the green screen effect onto my timeline. Now how to use the green screen effect is you have to go to here, go over to effects and then right here, keying. You have to press on keying and then go over to key and as you can see the green screen has disappeared. So go ahead and put the uh, key right over here and then there we go. If I go ahead and just play it back you can see that the green screen is boom it's gone. The green screen is completely gone. Now you can also see right up here there's a little uh, um, call, call to action card. It's very easy to get rid of. So as you can see now the green screen effect is gone. Now you can start doing some different uh, tricks and effects with it. So as you can see transform so you can see I can I can uh, glitch it around. So as you can see I can move it around anywhere I want. If I want to do that, I'm not sure why I would do that, but I can do this. I can move it anywhere I want. I can also, let's say I want it in the corner, but I want it smaller. Go ahead and just there you go right there. I can go ahead and just put it right in the corner. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. You can move it anywhere you want. It is just all a personal preference. Now, as you can see, this little uh, call to action card. Very easy, it's a very, very little cheap hack to get rid of it. All you gotta go ahead and do, just press on crop. And look, look at this. Well, it'll it take some time, so go ahead and drag on the crop. And if that doesn't work, another cheap little effect is you can actually uh, drag to the bottom and then look at this. Whoop! The card has completely disappeared, and there you go. What looks really complicated to do, there you go. I have a subscribe animation now. Go ahead and show it up on screen. There we go. It's official. Now we got the green screen effect. And that's how you go ahead and do that. That's a really uh, bad frame to stop on. But there's a whole bunch of different effects you can do with this. Knowing this green screen effect. So let's say I want to put a background. I'll go ahead and uh, just pull this out. I'll go ahead and just command C. Copy it. Boom, put it over the background. That's how that's so this is actually how I do it. As you can see right here, there you go. The green screen's completely disappeared. The call to action card has been cropped out, and just like that, that's how I actually do my own. That's how I do my subscribe animation for all of my videos. Another cool thing you can do, I'll just copy it, put it on here. This is how I've done I've done this effect before. Go ahead, just use Command B by using the blade tool. Go ahead and then go over to blur click on this blur right here put it in the background and there you go look at this the background has been blurred i think i just think that is a really cool effect you can do it again you can mess with a whole bunch of different effects but again you use the green screen i'll go ahead and show you guys one more time go ahead whatever you need is on green whatever the green screen is whatever whatever thing you're trying to use that has a green screen go ahead and put it on top of the clip you don't want to put it on the bottom or that'll just mess it up. Press on keying, go to keyer, and then just like that, the green screen has disappeared. And that is how you use the green screen effect on Final Cut Pro. 
hopefully that really helped you. Anyways guys, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found this video somewhat helpful and somewhat informative. Hopefully you learned a lot. And if there are still topics that you want to learn a lot more about, highly encourage you to go ahead and go down in the comment section below and I can try to answer some of your questions. Before you go ahead and leave the video, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. And I'm giving away this Google Home Mini for free once I reach 1,000 subscribers. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.